Hey guys, and welcome back to another series of Sims 4 in the city. Got my Sims headband on again. Look how beautiful, beautiful and glowy it is. I absolutely love it. So this is a series, of course, where James and Sama are now living in the city. They have an apartment. Uh, they can't really afford to decorate it amazingly at the moment. And we may have mouse holes. We may have a weird smell. We have a neighbor that Salma got into a fight with. Like, she literally physically fought the guy because he's such a nuisance. And things are pretty tough living, living where we live a little bit. It's still nice. The neighborhood's still nice. But guys, there's nicer neighborhoods and bigger dreams to be had. So, James did his first day of his detective work. It was a bit of a struggle, but now he knows. Now he knows what he needs to do and he's going to be an amazing detective. I also know how to make him stay later at work, so thank you guys for letting me know how to do that. Uh, Salma is... We didn't actually see how her work day went. We assume it went really, really well. She's a chef. She can do some more cooking practice, some more gardening, and then building up her little dream to own her own little retail store. So, if you guys are enjoying this series, please give it a little cheeky thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. I know some of you guys have said that Sam and James should get married or that they should have a baby. I don't want to rush those things. Those things will come gradually over time, okay? And also, some of you guys were saying that Sam and James should move out to a bigger apartment. I should use many cheats and stuff. No, guys, we're doing things properly, okay? They can only move out when they can afford to move out. They've got to make that step all on their own. So, guys, let's play some more Sims 4 in the city. So guys, here is the city, and just a little reminder, we live in this little spice market place here, but there is also the arts quarter, and then over here is the fashion district, and then this is the big town, this is the uptown region. Let's see what's the next one we should be moving into. Okay, so there is a flat here, and the weekly rent is 1,200. And then there's a flat here where the weekly rent is 300. So there's some pretty big differences. We're actually paying a little bit more for where we are now. But that one there, that one could be the potential next one because it actually has an upstairs. But 1,200 a month. So over here in the art district, again, there's a few, there's a few little variations. This one is 1,000, so technically it's a little bit cheaper. And then we've got this one that's 1,400, so it's a little bit more. So again, a bit of a change. We want Salma and James to experience all of the districts before they get to this one. So art quarter or fashion district, they could technically move into either one of those next. But for now, we are still here in the Cool Pepper apartments with our rats. There's the little cheeky ones. Let's go play. <laughs> Guys, every time. Every time poor Salma is on the toilet. Like, literally every time. This is just becoming a little bit ridiculous now. I am so sorry, Salma. Please continue as you were going, okay? So, the top knot, guys. Can we just talk about the top knot for a moment? Some of you guys hate the top knot. I mean, right now, James kind of looks like he hates it. And other of you kind of like the top knot. Some of you guys want him to go back to just the slicked back hairstyle. Others want him to keep the top knot. It's kind of right down the middle at the moment, guys. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll keep him it for now. But then we may change him over next episode. So here's little Salma Rooney. She is probably due a little bit of change. Oh, James is thinking about Jessikins. Oh, wait, wait, it's 4 a.m. in the morning? What are you crazy cats doing? Get to bed, okay? Get to bed. Go to sleep. Both of you, this is a silly time to be up, okay? Are either of you working on Saturday as well? Um, yep, James is working. He gets Mondays and Tuesdays off. <gasps> and Salma works too. She gets Tuesdays and Thursdays off, so they are gonna have to get up for work today. Some of you guys said I can click this smell. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can. I can attempt to repair it. Or I can complain to the landlord. We should probably, uh... Oh my gosh, James is up already. Okay, let's let's try the landlord route first. And then if he can't fix it... Oh my gosh, I can't focus on it now. If he can't fix it... Oh, what the hell? James just got a little mouse. A little mouse thing here. Suspicious squeaking from noticing a mouse. Is that because he saw the hole? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, an actual mouse just came out. <gasps> no, don't obliterate. Okay, let's complain to the landlord about the mice. I don't want him to kill the mouse, okay? Because if this was like my house and there was a mouse in it, in fact, Darcy has brought mice in before. 
usually they end up dying it's very sad but when a cat catches a mouse it's probably gonna die like it, it scares them to death but when my cat back home has brought them in me and my dad will like catch it in like a glass and then like put it in the bush we don't like to kill it guys we're not about killing mice mouse we're not about killing mouse we're not about killing any animals or any little mices we just put them back outside okay so this is our landlord down here i don't know who he is who is he? He's not on our friend list, I don't think. <gasps> but he sent round a repair person. Okay, oh no, that's, that's the actual landlord. <gasps> she! She, sorry, okay. She, oh no, she's putting down a trap. Guys, she's putting down a trap. If I have to hear the mouse get killed, I'm gonna actually cry. <gasps> He's trying to clean it himself. He's trying to get rid of it himself. She's gonna do it for you, okay? He's having a little chit chat with her. <gasps> no, don't scare her, James. See if she can fix that. <gasps> okay, that's fixed. That's fixed. Okay, let's get little Jamesykins ready for work. He starts work at 9 a.m. Oh my gosh, he starts work now. <gasps> okay, we're going to join him for work, guys. We are going to join him for work. I can't do this all the time, though, because I feel like I'm not giving Salma enough attention. But I just want to finish this very first case that we gave him. So, we went around to the house last time. We gathered some evidences. We took some pictures and we found some clues. Okay, training day two. Train harder. There's still a little bit more to learn before you be given your own case. First, it's time to get in the community and start building reputation as a friendly protector or hardened authority figure. Friendly protector, guys. Do we not like police brute force, okay? After that, you'll get to take a shot at finding and arresting a subject. A, a su oh my gosh. I keep doing this and when I watched my edit back last time, I said the word subject a million times and I'm meant to say suspect. Sometimes my mouth just says the wrong words, guys, okay? So, you know what we need to do? We need to zoom in there, grab one of these little investigation kits before anybody else can. <gasps> what? Oh, what? This is a completely different case now. James has discovered that the suspect has red hair. James has discovered that the suspect is wearing shorts. James has discovered that the suspect is in a short sleeve shirt. Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to write this down. I don't have a pen. There's too many, it's red. Ah, oh, what was it all? Red hair and shorts and a short sleeve shirt. Okay, we need to go on patrol. Okay, let's go to our crime map. How's our little colleagues? Let's just say hello. Do a little chit chat. This is your boss here. She is called, oh, she just stood up so I can't quite tell. Chief Billy. Chief Billy Yang, go say hello to her. It's good to have a good reputation with your boss. <gasps> what just happened then? He just got some crazy, like, crazy red glow. He's also pretty hungry. Like, do they have a fridge in there? In... <gasps> oh my gosh! As if I never noticed this before. <gasps> oh my gosh! Is this our old babysitter? <gasps> Rico, no! You would never do anything! Oh my gosh, we should release her. <gasps> He's quieting him down. Guys, will we get fired? Is this the, is this our baby, this is this our babysitter? Let's just check. Rico Nakamura. Who were you then? No, <gasps> it's a different person. Oh my gosh, James. You nearly just let hardened criminal on the streets. What are you doing? What are you doing, James? Okay, where is the kitchen? Okay, they can get snacks at work. Get yourself a meal, okay? Oh man, it's a crappy microwave meal. <coughs> Those things always taste of sadness. Oh my, he's just sat opposite her for his meal. Like, hey. She's thinking about cupcakes though. Okay, hurry up and eat your crappy meal, James, and then you need to go on patrol, okay? Can you eat any slower, for God's sake? Okay, bun the meal, bun the meal. Get out of there, James. Get on patrol. Everyone else is working. <gasps> okay, we're on patrol. When an officer is on patrol, they can get to know the community and help keep troublemakers in check. Talk with the residents to make friendly or mean to make a friendly or mean impression. See anyone littering or fighting? Issue a citation to make sure they obey the law. <gasps> Guys, the law is important. Okay, where are we? Where are we patrolling today? Then what is this building? Is it the museum? I think we're in the museum. Are we in our neighborhood? <gasps> but that's the nightclub. Maybe this is the museum. Is that the gym? Yeah. <gasps> this is the neighborhood that Ali and Claire live in. So we may be able to see them. Okay. 
Let's start doing introducing ourselves to the neighborhood, guys. Okay, so we're just doing really nice interactions with people. So everyone knows that we're super nice. But we have to keep our, like, eyes open for this red-headed criminal. This is great for his socialization, though. He's gonna know, like, everybody in the whole neighborhood. That he's a nice he police officer that room. brightens everyone's day. How good is it being a police officer? Like, look, he can just go, oh, ooh, this person looks angry. Oh, that's his old babysitter, guys. That's his old babysitter. He can just hang out with these guys and look, why don't I grab a serving of burgers and chat with the neighborhood? <gasps> red hair, red hair. But he does not have shorts on, guys. <gasps> his sister Emily is here. <laughs> Go say hey to Emily. Oh my gosh, fighting! Fighting! Stop, stop, stop! How do I stop them? How do I be a policeman? How? There's no police option. Oh my gosh. What? I can't issue a citation. Oh, issue citation, there we go. And then try and calm her down and become best friends with her, okay? That's how we deal with menaces. Okay, so we've issued a citation, but apparently we're still not chatting with people. This is the bit I don't get, guys. We're definitely chatting with people. <gasps> no, don't end in one hour work day. Each work day can be extended by clicking on the event timer. Stay late, okay? Stay late. Okay, I've no idea where I can't chat with civilians, but I can go back to the police station. So let's try that. Let's try to see if that helps. <gasps> okay. It gave us the chat with civilians. <gasps> and we've returned to the police station. You have processed enough clues to issue an all points bulletin. While you have a rough description of the suspect, more clues you find and process, the more specific the description comes. When you have a very detailed description of the perpetrator, you'll be less likely to arrest an innocent who shares similarities. Okay, so we need to go issue an all points bulletin on the crime map. Okay, issue an all points bulletin. I think this is still the original case. Like, we've still not cracked it, guys. I don't know what's happening now. A suspect fit in the all points bulletin has been spotted in the area. Ask around to see if anyone can point you in the direction of the subject. Okay, we've got three hours. We need to find the suspect. Okay, can this guy help us? Ask about the sub- a sub- Suspect! No, sus- su Subject! Ah! Oh my gosh, I bet it's the creepy dad. I literally bet it's him. No one's been very helpful though. I just saw someone like that over there. Over where? Where is he? I haven't seen anyone like that. Okay. What about the ghost? Can the ghost help us? Surely he can see all. Ghost hasn't seen anyone either. What about these people at the bar? <gasps> this guy's got red hair. But he said he had shorts on. He's not wearing shorts. How do I review my notebook as well? Where is that? Open notebook. <gasps> the suspect is male. The suspect has red hair. The suspect is wearing shorts. The suspect is wearing a short sleeve shirt. Okay, so it can't be him. It can't be him. Can anyone help us? Now you mention it, I saw someone like that just over there. What if it's the ghost, guys? <gasps> There's no one just like that over there. You're mud. <gasps> We've already got an hour to find the suspect! I saw someone like that just over there. What? Over <laughs> I think- Oh my gosh, I'm literally eyeing up everyone. Okay, we're gonna help James out by scouting from above. <gasps> Guys, this is our old house! <gasps> Do you think people live in it? I don't think anyone lives in it. Oh my gosh, everything's still exactly where it was before. <gasps> and there's a little spaceship. Okay, is there any criminals around it though? That's what we actually need to go. Suspect has red hair. I mean, that jumper's criminal, but he's not. I still feel bad that we're kind of just arresting a guy for breaking a dollhouse. He's just stuck staring at the sink. He tried to go wash up. Like literally, James is just too nice for his own good. Okay, he's gotta help us. Over there? Over where? Hi, Quick pause! Oh, he's got seven minutes! Guys, I don't think it's gonna happen. Where is he? Is it meant to be this hard? <gasps> End of shift. James did a terrible job today. Crime will surely flourish with such negligence. Guys, we didn't mean to do a terrible job. It was just hard. 
We'll try again tomorrow, guys. We'll try again tomorrow. I feel bad. Like, I don't know what Salma's doing. I feel sad. James is working late. The plants are not being tended to. Paul old Sal Marino never gets to see him. Oh, poor James. Okay. Why don't you eat that? That one's been out since last night, so clean that up. Oh, you're not having much fun. Okay. Why don't you watch a little bit of TV on your own? I mean, the mice holes are still there, but at least the smell is gone. Oh, no! Look at the poor plants! They're sad! Salma needs to tend to them, but she's not home. Good effort cleaning there, James. <laughs> Just pick the plate up and put it straight back down again. I mean... Are you just gonna leave it all for Salma? I don't think so. Clean up! <gasps> oh, guess who's at it again? Go tell him off! Why can't I tell him off? Leave passive-aggressive note. Yes, James! That's the way to go. Go leave an angry passive-aggressive note. He's, at, he's literally angry about the noisy neighbors. Like, I'm not even surprised. They are ridiculous. See how angrily he writes it. Oh. <gasps> your music taste is horrible and so is your face. That's what he wrote, guys. He's gonna have to cool off with a nice bubble bath. Oh, his old hair comes back. There we go, bun haters. His old hair is back when he's in the bath. He's got his feet all curled up like this. <gasps> he even wants to be mean to someone. <gasps> okay, you can be mean to someone, James. Go pound on the door. The antics James gets up to when Salma's not here. No, his anger's gone. It's fine, it's out of his system. I don't know if he can even try and go to sleep though. He should try because he's got work tomorrow. <gasps> he can't sleep because of the noisy neighbors. Oh my gosh. Burn these people. Pound on the door, James. I hate this Raj guy. I hate him. I hate him so much. Ruining our life. Turn your stupid music down, okay? You're clearly dressed for a party that you've not invited us to on a Sunday night. Flash him your crazy eyes, James. Hey, I live here too. I'm sorry your life is boring. Maybe you should just go to the lounge and have some fun of your own. No, no, James, he's the one with the loud apartment. I mean, is he gonna turn it down or what? He can't go to sleep, guys. He can't go to sleep. <gasps> Salma's home from work. She's been promoted to head dishwasher. And you know what? She can sort this out. She can sort this out by complaining angrily about the noise because she does not care about what Raj thinks. Shut the hell up, okay? Oh, shushka. Is he gonna shut up? Has it worked? Yes, Salma. And she got promoted to head dishwasher. I know you're super sleepy, but you need to you need to sort out this garden, okay? It's a bit of a wreck. Poor little James can finally go to sleep now. Salma came home and sorted him out, guys. That's the Salma we know and love. You need to water them too, babe. No, not you, James. Salma is the waterer. There we go. Salma's getting her beautiful garden back up to shape again. It was looking very sad, but at least she's had a little promotion, guys. Work for James starts in an hour. Okay, I think we should at least follow him to like the end of this first case. Because I really want to make sure that he can actually... I just want to see what happens when you complete the case. He's out... Where has he gone? James, where are you? Where are you, James? Okay, duty calls, the world of crime is never ending. Okay, I think this is the final time we'll follow him in a little while. I just really, really want to catch this subject guy. Ah, suspect! Why can't I get that right? I'm annoying myself. Okay, James is off to work. Okay, we're at work. And then, how do we find the uh, red-headed suspect? I guess we have to go out on patrol, guys. Get a case assignment, what? <gasps> we didn't complete it, guys. Because we didn't complete it, it means that we literally didn't manage to complete the case. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to do things so much faster this time. Forget talking to people, James. Get that case, okay? Get it! Oh, he's like, I can't, I can't do that. Yes, you can! Oh no, all the computers are being taken. Use this one. Quick, before someone else takes it, there we go. Forget the flea market, forget the fleas. Have you got a case? Stop just sending emails. Oh, he's been assigned a case. Yes. Stack case map. Oh, this is his first big case, actually. Oh, my gosh. Search criminals at the booking station. He's never had his own case before. He's only ever worked on other people's. James has set up a map. Now would be a good time to travel to the crime scene. Travel to the crime scene, James. We know what to do at the crime scene now. It's not going to be a complete disaster like it was last time. Okay. This is all going to be about streamlining the cop experience. We know exactly what to do at the crime scene now. Is it the same place? 
No, I don't think it is. It looks the same. Okay. <gasps> Achievement. Knock, knock. What's that? <gasps> Get the criminal's fingerprints. Okay. This is going to be like Robocop now, guys. We know exactly what to do. So, take a picture. Collect evidence. Oh my gosh. The crime has been committed by Banksy. Banksy did it. We know. Case closed. And then we need to speak to one witness. Oh my gosh. That's the guy from the other day. Take a witness report. Okay, James? Go, 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 go. Beady feet. Beady feet everywhere. Take a picture. Boom. Done. Evidence collected. Take more crime scene pictures. Fine, we're already on it. Look at us go. Look at us go. Another picture, another clue. Does it need another? Take more crime scene pictures. Okay, there's one here. Shoo. But right now, we're off to go talk to the witness. Getting a witness report. Oh my gosh. Their whole house has been tagged. Like, literally, their whole house has got graffiti tags everywhere. We need more witness reports. Good job we've got these guys in the guard. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. That would be like the most annoying because you'd have to like clean all your floors and stuff. Okay, once we get this final witness report we can go back to the police station oh look our colleague is here hello shauna hess hey shauna shauna's a pretty girl okay can we get our final witness report cool right is that everything pause 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 get another oh my gosh okay you my father's friend tell me everything you need to know <gasps> okay pause have we did it have we got everything we needed right that was so so much quicker than last time guys last time no word of a lie yes we've got everything we need last time no word of a lie i probably spent like the whole day there the whole day on the scene of a crime. Didn't get to analyze. I analyzed one piece of evidence, maybe two. That is it. Whereas this time, we are way ahead of the game. I feel like I need to pack energy drinks and stuff in James James's inventory so he can just go, go, go and be the best policeman that ever was. Who's a really good example of a policeman? I don't watch enough police dramas, guys. I don't watch enough police dramas. Okay, take a police report, cross-reference, discuss case theories with co-workers. We can do that. Discuss the case theory, James. Cost reference with police database. Where is police database? <gasps> okay, we need to use a, a computer to do it, so. But all the computers are taken. Okay, there's some more here. Cross reference all of the things. Cross reference everything. So he's chit chatting to see if. Um, Tristan Bray. Tristan, can you help me out? Tristan matches the description of the crime from yesterday. Just putting it out there. Okay. Oh, he's on your PC. Get off. Off you get. What's he called? Kian. Off my PC, please. This is all for me. Oh, look. You can even take pictures of the criminals there. Okay. We are doing some intense cross-referencing right now, guys. Oh, he's thinking about Jess. He's always thinking about Jess. We need to invite her around when we're not working. Okay. What's next? What's next? Add clues to the crime map. We can do that. Add the clues, James. Take a report from a civilian. <gasps> oh, look who it is. Always grinding, always running. It's Ali. You don't stay that buff by sitting at home on your butt, guys. Okay, he's adding his stuff to the board. I was seeing if there was any civilians around that we could do the police report on. But no one's here. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's another police officer. There's only police officers here, guys. <gasps> James has discovered that the suspect is wearing a tank top. Okay. Is that it? Is that all we've got? Okay, we need to analyze some evidence because that is not a lot to go on. Analyze evidence, the samples. Do it, James. <gasps> He's hungry. James, no. Ignore that hunger, okay? Ignore it. Still no civilians. Don't know what this place is, but nobody lives there. <gasps> civilian! A civilian, guys! A civilian! Oh, wait, she was, she was at the house. She doesn't count. <gasps> yes, okay. Take a police report from a civilian. Boom, we can do that once he's finished with this sample. Analyze harder, James. Analyze like your job depends on it. Okay, we didn't get any additional evidence from that. Any additional clues. So we need to do some more cross-referencing. Oh, for God's sake. It's half one. This is like the most stressful policing I've ever done. We need to do some more cross-referencing. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's questioning someone. They just pointed to the police station. Now they're just staring at each other. Did you get your badge? Would it possibly... Was it? Would it be possible to speak to a more senior officer? <gasps> Guys, that did not go well. Oh no, we're running out of time. We need to do more analysis and more cross-referencing. Work for little Sal Marino starts in one hour at home. <gasps> look, he could try to deduce a new clue. What are the clues? Oh, look. We're building stuff up slowly over time. Nothing on all the graffiti, weirdly enough. <gasps> yes, guys, more clues, okay? Oh my gosh, we've got to do more cross-referencing. The cross-referencing is real. Too much paperwork. 
The suspect is a young adult. He has enough to issue an APB. Yes. Okay, issue an APB. We're gonna have to work late, guys. He's also really hungry. He's not in a good place right now. Okay, I think this is the APB. We know nothing. We know absolutely nothing. I'll check my notepad. I don't even think we know the gender. This is not good. <gasps> oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so... Let's check what we actually know. I don't think it's gonna be very much. Tank top, young adult. Okay, James, I'll tell you what, you're really hungry. Why don't you get some chips? You get some chips. I will scan the area, okay? Tank top. <gasps> Tank top? Huh. Young adult. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he needs a wee, he needs a wee. Eh. Okay, James. Oh my gosh, we could literally be arresting her. Should we just go for it? Ask about the subject? See if she gives anything away? Look, tank top, young adult. I'm just gonna arrest her, guys. We're gonna go for it. <gasps> We're putting the cuffs on. We're putting the cuffs on. What if it's the wrong person? What? She means she looks so, so casual. But she could have been Instagramming pictures of the tags that she spray painted in the house. That's why she could have been on the phone. Gotta think about these things when you're a police officer. Okay, we've got our suspect. Now what do we do? Do we have to book her? Interrogate. Interrogate. Okay, fingerprint. Search. Interrogate. Take mugshot. This poor girl, if it's not actually her. Like, she's literally just come out in a slippy slips and everything. Oh, he's gonna wee on the floor. He is a million percent gonna wee on the floor. Go for a wee after that. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's literally searching her and everything. I bet, I bet he's kind of like pretty happy with uh, my suspect for this bit of it. Okay, now he's interrogating her, guys. I mean, his interrogation skills must be pretty low. He's gonna wee on her in a minute. Maybe that's a new theory he can try, just directly weeing on the suspect. I mean, he does not look very happy about this. <laughs> he looks like he's gonna cry. Oh, James. You're too nice to be a police officer. Look at his lip. His little whip lip is quivering and everything. Oh, James. It's not easy being a police officer, is it? Look at him, he's got his mean face on now. His interrogation technique is staring directly at them while saying nothing. Oh, I meant to do stuff! Oh gosh, okay. Evidence. Um, show crime scene pictures. Oh man, I did not realize I was meant to be doing this. Oh, I've got an hour and I wasted an hour just staring at her. Okay, we're showing her the pictures of the crime scene. Has that helped? Good cop. Promise a tasty meal. Ask politely. Show the witness statement, okay? Are we getting anywhere here? Do we know? Masami appears friendly. Show the fingerprint evidence, James. Masami seems worried. Okay. Oh, he's gonna have to- Oh, no. James did a fantastic job today. There may be a shiny badge and new title in his future. But he literally just looked to be on the floor, guys. Oh, man. I wish I'd have known that I was meant to help interrogate. Because then I would have tried a little bit harder. <laughs> I would have tried harder to actually do some interrogations. That was still really fun. I wish that the work they didn't go so fast. But we got paid really good money today. We could salvage James's bladder now if he gets there in time. Boom. Double, double the, the goodness. There we go. Double the goodness. Oh, poor little Salma's still working till 1 a.m. Will they ever get a day together, guys? Will they ever get a day together? Oh, Raj is having another party. Screw that guy. You know what you could do, James? How tired are you? You're not even that tired. You know what? You've been thinking a lot about Jess recently. Why don't you invite her to hang out, okay? And then you can cook some dinner for her. <gasps> it's Jess! Oh, and she's in a bad mood. Whoever would have guessed? <gasps> oh my gosh, James, what are you doing? Okay, burn the cook in a sec. Go say hey. Don't let it burn. Keep an eye on that grilled cheese, James. Dirty dishes are piling up and Salma can't keep up. She can either overload the dishwasher or leave some unwashed. Or don't overload the dishwasher because then nothing gets washed. Nothing gets washed. Isn't the end of the world. Performance gain is small, but at least she got it. James, you're making me really nervous with this cheese right now. Please go back to the cheese, James. Forget chatting. You've got cheese being cooked. Oh, guess who's loud again? 
that guy so much. As soon as we can get a bit more money to move out the apartment, guys, that is exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, call Jess to the meal. Jess, you've got you've got some dinners. There we go. There we go. So little Jess has come round to visit. Look how beautiful she is. Look how beautiful Jess is. Like, I don't want to be her or anything, but I definitely want to be her. I love her hair. I want pink hair. It's so pretty. <gasps> you know what I've realized they don't have? They don't have any video games. It's very sad. What a fun thing can they do together that's not video games? They can sell, tell some jokes and stuff. That should entertain Bye. them. <gasps> yeah, Roaches? Yeah. No. No, no, no. No, 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 guys. Where has it just gone? Oh! <gasps> oh my god, what is this apartment? Oh my gosh! We've got cockroaches climbing up the walls! Oh no, we have to move, guys. We have to move. We have to move. We have to move out this apartment right now. There's freaking cockroaches! Ah! I hate that so much. I literally hate it so much. Ah, uh, okay. As soon as we can raise, what do you reckon is a fair target? I think 5,000 pounds. As soon as we can raise 5,000 pounds, we will get out of this apartment, okay? Because this is just ridiculous. I know what they could do to have fun. Do you remember James's really cool room edition? He doesn't have one in this apartment. We should definitely get it. Oh my gosh, you can get a full basketball court. James just had the one that you stick on the wall. One that was just on its own. There we go. I knew I wasn't going mad. Okay, let's hide it in this bedroom so nobody has to see how like, weird it is to have that in your house. But can these guys shoot some hoop together? And Salma gets home in 20 minutes as well. Oh, uh, there they go. Look at them playing some hoops together. Salma, she's very tired, but come, come join in. Oh no, look, she literally has to go out the room to get involved. <laughs> oh, Salma Rooney, why don't you go look after your plants instead? Oh my gosh, I'm like, save two and a half thousand pounds. How much have I just spent on that? How much have I actually just spent on that? How much was it? 500 pounds, guys, I'm gonna have to sell it. I'm gonna have to sell it, that's ridiculous. What else can I sell? I wish I could sell this stupid ugly box on the wall. I might have to sell the treadmill. I know I'm losing money. But we need 5,000 pounds. I think it, yeah, 5,000, not two and a half. We need to, we need to sell some things. Unnecessary things will now be sold. Like, we don't need three bookcases. We don't need two dresses. We don't need a lamp in a room that we don't use. Okay, there we go. We're on 3,000 already. We're making good progress. Say hey to Jess. Okay, James has had enough of Jess. He's gone to bed. I think it's time for Jess to go home now, potentially. But at least they got to have a little chit chat together. Oh, she says thanks for hanging out, but she's gonna head home in a little workout gear with her cool little, cool little trainers that I think some of you guys don't like, but I think they're really cool. And Salma is finally gonna head back to bed. Oh no, she's not. Go on. Oh, she's freaking out about the freaking cockroaches, guys. So, we have a bit of a bug problem, I'm afraid. We also have a neighbor problem. We have a mouse problem. We have James never being able to catch a suspect problem. And we have a no idea what's going on in Salma's life problem. But still, we got to see James doing his first day, doing a little bit more detecting, being the detective. I mean, if, oh, can we complain about these to the landlord? Cause they are actually vile. Complain to the landlord. I mean, with those, I kind of want to eradicate them. <laughs> I kind of do, like, I didn't want to kill the cute little mouse. But freaking cockroaches, guys, I hate them. We don't get them in the UK. The only time I ever see cockroaches is when I go away. Since you're a, a tenant in good standing, I'll take a look. So if you go to like a villa in Spain, you see them and they are literally just the most horrific thing in the whole world. So it's James's day off today, which means he can do a little bit more stuff in the home. Maybe do a little bit more busking, but we can also focus a little bit more on beautiful Salma Rooney in the next episode. I think we should switch up her appearance a tiny bit, so you guys let me know what we should do. I want to keep her hair red, but I think we give her a different hairstyle. Maybe some makeups, maybe that kind of thing. So if you're excited for the next episode of Sims 4 in the city, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give it a cheeky little like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!